to Cahirlock. And I suppose just before I start in this commencement day, it's just to thank you, Cahirlock, for selecting this and to apologise to you for before Christmas where you selected me for commencement debate and I, I got my uh, days mixed up. So I'd just like to take this opportunity to apologise to you on the floor of the House for that. Um, Minister, the, the reason I'm bringing up this uh, issue today is because the Hainanstown area and the Black Rock area just south of Dundalk and County Louth is one of the fastest growing areas in our entire county in, ter in terms of population. Uh, currently, there's 1,650 uh, houses in for planning permission in the whole area. In the last three years, we've seen the building of over 500 houses. Um, at the minute in Black Rock, which is just right beside it, there's two primary schools which are completely full. There's one primary school in Hainanstown as well, and that's completely full. So the reason I'm bringing this uh, commencement debate to the House today is really to acknowledge that there's been a huge population boost in that area. It's only going to continue to grow. It's one of the most popular places to live in County Louth at the moment. Uh, and we need to plan suitably uh, for education in that area. So Louth, Meath, uh, Louth and Meath Education and Training Board, the ETB, They've already identified a very suitable site in the Hainanstown area. They've got a valuation for it as well. It's really good value for money. Um, and they've put in a request to the department in that regard. Um, I really think it's important, I suppose, that the Department of Education make this a priority uh, in terms of identifying a suitable school location. Um, I really think it's about planning far ahead. And as I've mentioned to you there, we have seen substantial uh, development in that area in terms of housing and it's one of the fastest growing places actually in County Louth for the provision of housing and Louth County Council are doing a wonderful job there uh, also so the reason I'm coming here today Minister really is I want to hear rather than me telling you why we need to do it I, I really want to hear the views from you as a minister and at the department to get your views on it to get the department's views on it uh, and to see how we move forward with this very important issue. clarify the current position in relation to the provision of additional primary school places uh, in Dundalk, County Louth. And in order to plan for school provision, uh, which you mentioned there, and to analyse the relevant demographic data, my department divides uh, the country into 314 school planning areas, and it uses a geographical information system, or a GIS, which uses the data uh, from a range of sources, including child benefit data from the Department of Employment Affairs and Social Protection and the department's own school enrolment databases to identify, uh, which you alluded to, where the pressure for school places uh, across the country will arise. And the department has strengthened this process this year through specific initiatives, such as enhanced engagement with local authorities, uh, and I note what you're saying about the fast-growing demographic um, in Dundalk, in relation to the information on residential development incorporated in the analysis process. Also, additional engagement with patron bodies in relation to their local knowledge on school place requirements. Education and training boards, diocesan offices and national patron bodies such as Educate Together on Forest Patrunachta, which looks at Gael Skillina, uh, can also be an important uh, source of local knowledge. And this will add to information also provided to the department by local authorities or individual schools. Also, uh, it's the utilisation of information gleaned from schools under the National Inventory uh, of School Capacity completed by individual schools last year as part of the primary online database. And in a regular year, um, Chair, addressing the increased demands for school places whilst challenging is manageable, generally through the utilisation of existing uh, spare, spare capacity within schools, rental, temporary accommodation or other short-term measures pending the delivery of permanent accommodation. But the Dundalk primary school planning area is made up of 29 primary schools and in relation to the provision of additional primary school places for Dundalk, my department has recently approved, Deputy, the expansion of St Francis National School in Blackrock to a two-stream 16-classroom school. And the project approved will provide an additional eight permanent classrooms and includes a two-classroom special education needs base, which obviously, as the Minister for Special Education, I'm particularly uh, pleased about that. And a design team has been appointed already for the project, and it's currently at an early architectural planning stage. And the project has been devolved to Loud Meath uh, Education and Training Board for delivery. And pending completion of this project, and in order to meet 
the immediate uh, accommodation needs of St Francis National School. My department also approved the temporary accommodation of two mainstream classrooms uh, for the current school year, as well as a further mainstream classroom and one special education needs classroom for the 2021-2022 school year. And it's envisaged that all of this accommodation deputy will be in place for the start of the next school year. And this additionality is expected to cater for the future needs in the Dundalk area. And my department also understands that there is also further capacity uh, within existing primary schools in the school planning area. And I also wish to advise uh, the Senator that updates in relation to all building projects uh, are provided on my department's website and this is updated regularly. But once again I want to thank the Senator for your particular interest uh, in this area and um, I think I hope that I've outlined the position uh, in a satisfactory way to you in relation to the primary school provision in Dundalk. Come on, Thank you very much, Minister, for your very comprehensive reply. It, it really is very much appreciated. Uh, I suppose just two, two points I'd like to make about it is, um, first of all, the Dundalk planning, the Dundalk planning area, um, which is utilised by your department, I really believe, and it may be too late for this debate, but we need to treat the Haynes Town and Black Rock area completely separately. If you can imagine it, Dundalk is a town of 40 odd thousand people. The Black Rock Haynes Town area, they started off as small villages on the outskirts of Dundalk originally. and um, they, they need to be treated as two totally distinct areas because it is completely different, the needs in that area from the needs of housing in, in, or for the needs of education in North Dundalk. So that's a, a difficulty I think the department have with encompassing Black Rock Haynes Town in the wider Dundalk area. They really should be treated separately. Really welcome the points made about this in Francis National School in Black Rock. However, where I'm talking about, again, is I suppose a slightly distinct area. It's the Hainanstown, Hagerstown area. Um, that's where the majority of housing has been built in the next couple of years. Um, and that's where we really need to look uh, for providing a new primary school, I think. That's what the Loud and Mead ETB are trying to do as well. Um, it is really welcomed in Black Rock, but it's, it's a totally separate issue. And I really think we need to cater for the children in the Hainanstown, Black Rock area. And that's why I'm bringing this debate to the floor today. Thank you. Minister. Yeah, just just to to um, to let you know, uh, Dep or deputy. I think I was calling you deputy earlier on. Uh, I'm, we're, we're in the doll, the, the old doll chamber. Um, so apologies, uh, um, Senator, for that. But um, just to say that obviously, you know, the the building and planning unit within the department, um, you know, ha has its own way of dealing with uh, and forecasting in terms of providing. Uh, school places um, and indeed schools in, into the future and I mentioned to you earlier on about the th 314 school planning areas but I will bring what you have said today Senator to the attention of the Minister for Education uh, who really is over uh, the remit in relation to the building and planning of schools um, and as I said already there are 29 primary schools uh, in existence in the Dundalk primary school planning area that's not to say that there isn't a case to be made for what you say about Hamestown um, and, and Black Rock and I think it may be worth your while, Senator, putting in a particular submission, perhaps to the department, um, you know, in writing, other than just a commencement notice and perhaps setting out the, the reasons that you articulated there, particularly if there's 40,000 extra people and the increasing demographic uh, that you've alluded to there. It may be worthwhile uh, putting in something in writing to the department. Gamagat. And uh, thank you for explaining the situation in relation to prior to Christmas. I know you were double booked on that day and you were at a constituency issue that you had to deal with. 